I am celebrating 50k subscribers on Isha Gaming. Thank you so much for subscribing to my little channel about games that I play. Usually I make a cake and stuff when I reach a milestone in subscribers on Isha Gaming. So last time I made a, a cake of sorts. <gasps> and today I am going to make a cheesecake and I've never made one before. I'm also going to show you a lot of behind the scenes and I'm gonna answer a bunch of your questions that you submitted to the community tab that I have here on YouTube. A lot of questions regarding how I create my videos and why I'm YouTubing and what made me make a YouTube channel in the first place. All sorts of questions. So this is a 50k Q&A plus baking. And then I... <laughs> totally not how I was supposed to do it. Hello. Oh. Now I'm gonna do something that I've never done before. Five of those in water. So, I have written down some of your questions and we're going to go over them. The first question is, Mr. E is asking, what editing and filming tools do I use? My camera equipment is in every description box on every video. So I am using a Canon EOS 90D with a Sigma art something lens. And I'm using a micro the microphone. And when it comes to editing software, I am using Adobe Premiere Pro. And he is also asking how long does it take to edit a video? Um, everything between 7 and 20 hours. The really edit heavy ones takes 20 hours, like a top 10, let's say. Maybe 15, 20. I don't take the time, so it's long anyway. But I think and I feel that I average on 8 to 10 because I'm very thorough and picky when it comes to editing. But in general, the entire process of making a YouTube video, well, it goes something like this. First of all, I play a game and then I decide that I wanna talk about it in a video, let's say. So then I write my script and my script is incredibly, I don't know, like I have filled three of these books already because I need notes or else I'm gonna forget some essential parts that I knew that I wanted to cover. So I make notes and words, sometimes full sentences, but basically words so that I can describe something in my own words. But, you know, a little bit of both. I then get ready and like do my hair and makeup and then I try to find some clothes to wear. I set up my lights, I set up my camera, I prepare <laughs> everything and then I film my video. And after that, it is editing time, obviously. So the filming part is not what is the most time consuming. For me, it is actually the editing that is taking the longest time. And then I also record my own gameplay and I use the Elgato HD60 for that. And sometimes I actually also use the in-switch feature of recording the last 30 seconds that you played. I sometimes use that actually. And then after all of this, I go for a thumbnail and a theme and I decide on which title I'm gonna, you know, use. Okay, so Lil Carl is asking, why do so many big YouTubers never read their comments or reply to their comments? I think it is maybe because they get so many that they don't have the time. I read every comment that I get and I try to respond to a lot of them. A lot of them. I try to. Lester Amaro is asking about my PC setup. Which PC do I have? Well, I have an Asus ROG Strix something. I will leave all of that on the screen. <laughs> so this is the gelatin and this is really hot water. So that is gonna dissolve into the thing. My top five favorite songs at the moment. Uh, I don't have top five. I have top 
five playlists. No, I'm just kidding. I have one specific playlist that I listen to every time that I listen to music, but I also use Discover Weekly on Spotify. But I want you guys to listen to my Isha Gaming playlist on Spotify. And some of the better songs like right now that I listen to every time that I listen to music in general. Palaces of Montezuma by Grinderman. Bloodbus Ohio by The National. White Lies Is My Love Enough. But I feel like my soundtrack, the soundtrack of my life, and has been for the past couple of years, it would be the Dandy Warhol's talk radio. I don't know, it's just something with that song. It's so cozy and so good. And it, I feel like that is really just the soundtrack of me right now. So thank you, Hector Estrada, for that question. Okay, so here's, uh, I don't know what it's called in English, cream cheese. Two packs of that. It's going into the cream that I whipped. Akkurat nu anar jag kanske över faktiskt. Forever Young is wondering if I can hire a professional photographer to take pictures of me. Den är varm. Visst är det um, I have a professional photographer and that is my cousin. So, you know, he can take some uh, easy Instagram pictures for me sometimes. <laughs> I'm full of whipped cream. So this is my cousin and also my neighbor. And <laughs> he is my professional photographer and thank you so much for the question. I got cream in my book. Desiree Janiga is asking favorite Harvest Moon and Story of Seasons bachelors and bachelorettes. In the uh, SNES Harvest Moon game, my favorite was Anne. In Tale of Two Towns, I liked Cam, Kana, and actually Ash. I feel like Tale of Two Towns is the Harvest Moon with the best bachelors. I liked so many of them. In A Wonderful Life, I liked Muffy the most, the blonde girl, <laughs> but her personality was kind of crap. But I, I was young when I played that game and I liked her because she was pretty. In Harvest Moon Tree of Tranquility, I back in the day when I was younger, I liked Luke. But now when I went back to the game, I actually liked Owen more. And in Story of Seasons or, you know, Friends of Mineral Town in general, on the Game Boy Advance version, I went for Anne. And in the Switch remaster, Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town, I am going for Grey because he's cute. Okay, so Scuba Steve is asking if I can make an updated what's on my Switch video. And that is actually in my notes. It is going to happen, an updated version of that. Because the old video of that is so old. I feel like all my older videos, they become more and more cringe-worthy <laughs> as time goes by. So yep, that is one that I'm going to remake. I also want to remake like a bunch of other videos, like um, a room tour remake of that. I don't know. We will see. Thank you for the question. Extranator is asking, have you played any Senran Kagura games? I have one because there was a sale on PlayStation 4, but I haven't played it yet. I tried it a tiny bit, but I wasn't uh, blown away. The Flame Kid is asking, have you played Trials of Mana already? No, I haven't. I don't have the game. AN Crossing is asking, have you played any Lego games? Does Lego Racers count? AN Crossing is also asking, how much do you play, like in a day? Whenever I feel like it. And that is basically every day, every evening. I have my own moment of relaxation every evening with my video games. That is like my me time in the living room and or also some bed gaming, you know, lying on my side in my bed playing some Switch games. It depends and I'm just going with the flow. <laughs> going with what I feel like each and every day when it comes to video gaming. I wanna say that I have a relaxed relationship to gaming. It's not like I am obsessed. I still have a social life. I still have work. I still have a life with Ishaman and I still do housework and chores. Uh, so, uh... AN Crossing is also asking, are you getting a PlayStation 5 and or Series X? I saw someone on YouTube do it like this, like pour over a spoon. I think in general the white stuff in the cake was supposed to go in the refrigerator for like several hours before pouring the actual hot jello on. It's already floating up. <laughs> Look at this. Oh no. It turns out good, even though it looks like crap. I have a lot of cream now in my book. 
I want the PlayStation 5, but it is basically too ugly right now. Too big and too ugly, and I want to wait for a slim version, or a stackable version, or just a black version. But I'm really interested in the PlayStation 5 and the games and what it can do and how it runs and all of that. It's just the design that's holding me back right now. And with the Series X, I'm not sure yet. Favorite season, summer. Never ever wearer is asking, how do you play your Switch? Uh, in bed, sometimes in, on the couch, uh, lying down on the couch, any position ever. I love it. Ness the Purple Heart fan is asking, will you review Neptunia Virtual Stars? Funny you should mention that. I got this in the mail yesterday. I ordered, I pre-ordered this from Limited Run some time ago and it arrived yesterday and I just started playing this. That is Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. It is not 7, it is V2. That is so confusing. But I loved this cover. It looks so detailed, but it has a, also a reversible sleeve. I have already played that game on the PlayStation 4, but it's fun going back to an older game. And yes, I will definitely play Neptunia Virtual Stars and talk about it. Matilda Hogberg is asking if I'm gonna review my time in Sandrock. Yes, I will. Since I loved my time at Porsche, that is definitely also a game that I want to review. He he B D B F is asking, how do I balance my time between gaming and working? I do work first, then gaming. Vanda is asking, your hair, how do you grow them? Do you have any treatments and stuff? I don't use any hair extensions. This is my real hair. And the best and proest tips for getting long hair. Number one, never cut it. Number two, don't go to any hairdressers because they will cut it. Number three, leave the hair alone most of the time. Number four, comb the hair really Mm, gently. Another pro tip is that stay true to one color. I've had this hair color now for 10 years. I'm actually born a redhead ginger ginger head. <laughs> Nerd Cave is asking what is the most surprising and cool thing about having 50k that you never expected when you were a small channel like me? Um, unexpected. I, I mean I guess all the love. <laughs> My Discord channel, I didn't expect that I would create a community like that. So that is kind of surprising to me. I didn't see that one coming. So that is definitely fun. Salom Geyser is asking, is there a big gaming community in Norway? I think it is way bigger in the States. But I live so far up north in Norway, so you know, nothing happens here. So probably further down in Norway, there's a lot more stuff happening. I mean, we have the retro convention and that is a really good gaming community. Scott Harvey is asking, what's my favorite movies? I do actually watch a lot of movies, but I play more games than, than I watch movies actually. And I also watch more documentaries than movies. In short, everything with Tom Hanks. Gesmerie Rodriguez is asking, do you finish all your games? <laughs> God, no, 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 no. I try to play the games that I feel like playing and if I'm not feeling it anymore and I feel, feel more for another game, I go there. So I'm being dragged in all directions, if you know what I mean. And I just try to play the games that I feel like playing. And no, I don't always or even often finish games. I actually finally finished Dragon Quest Builders 2. I have 120 hours in Dragon Quest Builders 2 and then I saw the end game credit roll. I loved it. it so good game. The review may be coming. Yamabi Star is asking, favorite Atelier game? I think it is Risa. Andre is asking, top three Switch games. I have a top 10 list. Go over there and check it out. Fernicus is asking, what's my game of the year? It's too early to say. Squint Tripod is asking, was there any YouTuber that inspired you to become a gaming channel? Yes. Happy console gamer. Salome Geyser again is asking, why did you start YouTube? Uh, <laughs> um, that is kind of embarrassing. Uh, I got a new digital camera when I was 16 and I wanted to make a pretend music video of Nirvana Penny Royalty with my friend and we were in our emo phase. Christine Kelly is asking, is this still a Switch channel? It is a gaming channel. I know it says a Switch reviewer in my banner at the top of the... But I am actually a gaming channel, I guess. Karen Love is asking, where do you shop your more niche games? 
at Ify's Europe store. I also buy a lot of my games digital now, except for ID Factory games. I want to have them in physical, apparently. Thoughts on Hyrule Warriors? I'm gonna play it in Christmas. Okay, there were more questions, but the video is going to be too long. Wait, I wrote actually a special thanks. Since this is my 50k video, I have some special thanks to fellow content creators, fellow YouTubers that actually helped me and boosted my numbers in some way or form. And one of the first ones that did that was Radical Reggie. So a special thanks to Radical Reggie. Also to 8-Bit Eric. Like Radical Reggie and 8-Bit Eric were the first ones that wanted to collab with me when I had 2,000 subscribers. Mm, and that boosted my channel in the very beginning, I remember. And then we have, of course, Happy Console Gamer, my all-time favorite YouTuber and inspiration. Another special thanks goes to Spawn Wave for inviting me on Spawncast. Another special thanks to Metal Jesus Rocks for always being kind and I feel like a friend uh, to me also, even though I made the cringiest parody video of him ages ago. Last, but definitely not least, super special thanks still to The Quartering, uh, who helped me regain my channel when it was hacked. And I know I am missing a lot of <laughs> names right now, but special thanks to everyone that I have ever collabed with. And lastly, thank you to everyone that decided to subscribe to my channel. Okay, so that was that. The next cake is gonna be at 100k, and then it will be messy cupcakes. Also, as a special bonus, at 100k, Tiny Hats will dress up as Noir from the Hyperdimension Neptunia series. I hope you want to stick around for that. <laughs> now, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I will see you later. I bought you from the COVID one. My coffee. Oi. Halvetes shit the leading. Den är ju jorda den här. Nu kan du filma en close up för det här kommer att bli show. Jag väntar lite. Tusen tack. Danke schön. Dank, danke, danke. I don't think I can include.